Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I just want to talk about uh, trends in modern preaching. Stuff that I've studied and also that I've observed and I just want to share some thoughts that I have uh, on this topic. I think I'm going to start with the charismatic movement because that's an area where I've been able to observe for the last year. I think the strength of the charismatic movement in terms of their preaching is they are very good at getting down to people's level. So they'll use quite a lot of stories and um, emotion uh, to reach people uh, and that connects with people. But I think the weakness of the charismatic uh, preaching is they don't quote the Bible enough or expound the Bible enough. So a, a lot of their experience is simply that, their experience. It's not actually rooted or grounded in the Bible. I've noticed that not all charismatic pastors, but I noticed that <clears throat> charismatic pastors, from what I've seen, don't tend to study very deeply um, and I think that that's not a good thing I think you need to read widely you need to read good theology books uh, and good biblical books you know all the great preachers in history were people who read you know and it's important to be feeding yourself uh, and to be studying uh, the Word of God so that you can expound the Bible in a good way. So what tends to happen with charismatic preachers is they tend to say a lot of stuff from experience and then end up making dangerous comments, dangerous uh, statements because they're not rooting it in the Bible. Um, in terms of the Reformed uh, preaching, the Reformed preaching seems to have um, very good content in terms of it'll be biblical but it lacks fire there's very little fire within reform preaching not all the time but there's very little fire it, it's as if they're preaching to 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 the dead that they're that the, the, they're at a funeral and they're preaching to the person who's in the grave and 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 it lacks fire if you're not passionate about your topic then you know people are gonna well they're not gonna really be inspired to to go forward in their walk with the lord um you can be quiet preacher you don't have to be like jumping around but there must be that zeal for God coming out of you rather than, uh, you know, as if you like a, a funeral. <clears throat> the other trend is a lot of preachers today that are preaching. It's a thought for the day. So they'll turn up and they'll just give a thought for the day. You get this a lot in the Anglican and the Methodist and major denominations where they they're trendy they've done their theological training at some liberal seminary and they get it in their head that they're super intelligent and super cool and super with it so rather than get in the pulpit and and give an absolute excellent exposition of the word they just get up and give a, a bit of a story and, and it's just a little thought for the day that's not going to feed anybody or going to help anybody Another trend is using multimedia in the preaching. So you'll see a lot of people using um, uh, pictures and, and putting video clips up and all the rest of it. I would say that in the end, that that uh, will lead to a secularization because people are just being trained to be part of that media world rather than getting into the world of the Bible. Now, I know you'll disagree with me. I know you trendy preachers out there will disagree with me. But I can tell you that a person who studies the Bible and expounds it faithfully, truly and faithfully, they will be blessed and they will be a blessing to a congregation. 
But if you fiddle about putting video clips up and messing around there, then you're not going to get anywhere. I can tell you that now. You're just making your congregation into little children where they're not really growing. And that's the other area that I think uh, in trends is that a lot of churches are playing video clips. They're dumbing down the services so that it's for children. They're minimizing the preaching. And so preaching is very, very rarely used. A preacher who, who can preach the word it is very rarely asked to preach. And uh, again, that's the secularization of the church uh, and is not a good thing and will end up, uh, the church won't be growing uh, spiritually as it should. So those are some of the trends that I see today. Paul says, preach the word in season and out of season. He said, study to make yourself approved of God. And I cannot for the life of me understand how you can be a preacher or how you can be a pastor or how you can be a leader in a church and not spend time studying the word and then preaching and teaching it in your church. It baffles me beyond belief. I just, I just can't even begin to understand how you could even begin to be a leader and not teach the Bible. Teach it. Open the word of God and teach it. Expound it. Show them the truth of the word. Teach them the word of God. Um, a couple of books that are really helpful is if you go on the banner of truth trust. If you go on the banner of truth, there is a, a book, a couple of books by a guy called Stuart Olliot. Those two books that he's done. If you just go to the Banner of Truth Trust, um, find the website, the Banner of Truth Trust, uh, Ian Murray, uh, you know, Edinburgh, somewhere like that. Just Google those things. And uh, you find that website. And there, there's a couple of books they published by Stuart Ollier. There's also a book that he's done on preaching by Evangelical Press. And they're excellent books on preaching. Really, really good. Excellent books. My favorite book of all time on preaching is R.L. Dabney's Sacred Lettering. I think it's been republished as Evangelical Preaching. R.L. Dabney, Evangelical Preaching. Uh, or Sacred Rhetoric is an old title. I think it's, it's somewhere along here. No, it's not here. But it, it's an excellent book. Um, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones, Preachers and Preachers. You can go and listen to his course. On his website, he's dead now, but if you go on his website, uh, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones Recording Trust, and you can listen to the full course for free. Now, that's an excellent course on preaching, and you can get the book by Hodder and Sorton. And then another excellent book is John MacArthur's Expository Preaching by his staff, that is an excellent book, uh, and uh, you would be blessed to, to, to get that book. Um, so that's uh, Trends in Modern Preaching. There's also a good course on preaching at um, the uh, Puritan and Reformed Theological Seminary. There's an excellent course there on preaching by uh, Joel Beakey uh, called Experimental Preaching. Excellent course. And then uh, anything Joel Beakey lectures on preaching you, is a must. And then there's a course on expository preaching on the Master Seminary, which is an excellent course. I've done that uh, by Steve Lawson and John MacArthur, uh, and that's a real blessing. Okay, so thank you for listening and God bless you.